Okay, in this video I'm going to look at the fallout of uh, Meghan Markle's new nickname, Me Gain, and also how Prince Harry's life has changed since uh, he's been going out with Meghan Markle and uh, now that they're married and, and how much he's seeing his friends and so forth. So let's have a look. All right, let's start this up. Now, as the world counts down to the birth of the royal baby, there's no let up in the damaging headlines surrounding Prince Harry and, of course, Meghan. Yeah, and just this morning, it's actually been reported that the Duke is furious about those rumours that royal staff are now calling his wife Meghan. An unflattering mm -hmm. nickname for her. And if anyone knows what's really going on with Prince Harry and his life, it is royal author Katie Nicholl, who joins us now from London. Katie, good morning to you. Good morning. Now, your book, Harry and Meghan, includes some new chapters which covers Harry's life to date. What do you make, first up, about this latest row over Meghan and her supposed nickname, Me Gain? So, I think we need to take this with a grain of salt, don't we? She, she's uh, an author and she's got a book, so she's out to, you know, um, flog her book and they're saying there's additional chapters now so obviously there's a second edition of this book that she wants everyone to buy and uh you know <laughs> when i hear that i sort of think uh, uh vested interest she just wants to create a bit of drama just to sell her book i think but that's just my opinion we'll, we'll see what you think well, you know, the thing is, as we approached the birth of, of their first baby and their anniversary, you know, that one-year milestone, you would think, and having covered the royal wedding back in 2011 and William and Kate, that one-year milestone is a really happy occasion. It's been, in, in many ways, it's been a very successful year of marriage. And you look at how Meghan has sort of exploded into the royal fold and how well she's taken to royal duties. She has been incredibly successful. Has she also had a tough time in the media? Absolutely. Um, but, you know, these rumours about her being difficult, about being demanding, that sort of clash of temperaments, possibly a clash of cultures, it just hasn't gone away. And I always say there is no smoke without fire. I speak to courtiers at Kensington Palace on a very regular basis. You only ever hear them say good things about Meghan, but then, of course, I'm a journalist. They're not going to say anything bad. I do hear other things from other people that have been in and out of the palace who, who say, you know, sometimes she, she does have a tendency to ruffle feathers. OK, so no, no smoke without fire. I don't know. You, you can make up rumours and uh, there doesn't need to be any truth of them all, so... I don't, I don't believe the old <laughs> where there's smoke there's fire uh, especially when it comes to tabloids and um, yeah it's very easy to spread these rumours around because she, she has got a fairly strong personality I'd say and uh, she, she's she got a lot of um, social causes that she, she likes to pursue so uh, it's very easy to sort of say that she's ruffling feathers eh? But from from my, my observation of body language and everything, I think uh, she's getting along fine with everyone. That's that's just my opinion. Yeah, look, we touch on those new chapters in your book. Uh, what do they reveal about Harry and how his life has now changed? Well, I think one of the most the interesting book. things um, <laughs> is just how much he has changed as a person. Um, you know, the, the boy that would go and <coughs> happily drink pints all day and watch rugby and hang out with his mates, well, he doesn't have all of those same friends anymore. I, I was told that he starts his day with meditation, something actually that Harry himself has, has spoken about. Um, he's even into yoga. He starts his day with a green juice. I mean, this is not the Harry that we've all known and loved for so many years. So I think Meghan and her clean LA lifestyle has has rubbed off on him um you know he... well you can sort of see there he's he's definitely looking looking fitter and healthier so um there's a positive there i think megan's megan's really uh you know got you know kicked him into shape a bit you know not not that he was out of shape before but he's um he's looking a lot leaner now and uh, a lot healthier i think so i think married life's doing 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 him a world of good He's quit smoking, he, he barely drinks anymore. They're going to be leaving London in a matter of weeks for a really very different lifestyle in Windsor. Is this just evolution of a young man who was a wayward prince at times, something I really cover in the book, that Vegas episode, it's all in there. Is this just a metamorphosis of him finally growing up? Yes, I, I think it probably is. But without a doubt, um, you know, Meghan has had a big, big influence on, on the man he is now. And he's a newly married man. He is obviously spending 
less time with his mates, including his best mate, Tom Inskip, and we're hearing reports that he's not very happy after he's been banished to some degree and, and that Tom actually advised Harry not to marry Meghan. Have we seen him sort of shift in terms of his friendships as well? Yeah, I, I think we have seen him shift in terms of his friendships. I, I, um, I, it wasn't just Tom as well. You know, other people also sort of said to Harry, whoa, this is all moving really quickly. And in fact, one of the stories in my book is about how his brother, Prince William... <laughs> What's she saying? In my book, you know, I think we're seeing a theme here. You know, just create a bit of drama. Do another chapter in your book. See how many books you can sell. William also said, this is moving really fast. Are you sure? And you see, this advice just didn't go... The cautionary advice didn't go down well with Harry at all. And in Tom's case, what did it mean to? Well, according to Tatler magazine, banishment. And it is pretty much what I've heard as well. I've never quite managed to get to the bottom as to whether Tom Inskip was actually at that wedding reception at Frogmore House. But I do know from his friends that he sees very, very little of Harry anymore. He's... So, is it just me, or do you, do you all miss um, the uh, the royal tour in Australia, where everything was very positive and uh, and uh, had some really great coverage? I sort of miss miss the uh, royal tour. I think they should just tour around Australia all year round and until the baby's born. I think because <laughs> um, as soon as, as soon as they got back to England, it's just been just rubbish tabloid news and. Uh, it, it's not it's not fun to uh, report, that's for sure. Quite bitter about it. He's quite sad about it. Now, look, there are plenty of critics. In, in fact, Deb spoke to Piers Morgan about this just yesterday, who say that Meghan only married Harry for the fame. Uh, what do you make of that? Oh, Piers Morgan. Look, I, 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 Piers is entitled to his opinion. I, I think it's a bit crude to say that she only married him for his fame. You know, she was a famous woman in her own right. Did she recognise in Prince Harry a platform, a global platform that, you know, no, no amount of suits could afford her? Yes, very possibly. But I do believe that she is deeply in love with him. I mean, you only have to watch them together to see that it's, it's a genuine love affair. But, you know, this is a woman who I think has set her sights very, very high. She, she wants to make a difference. Difference. And according to her former agent, one of the things that she said when she first started seeing Harry was, you know, together we can change the world. And I think that's what she wants to do. And I, I think there's probably a bit of Harry that wants to do that too. They are a very powerful, dynamic team. They are the biggest royals on the planet right now. They are the superstars of the royal family. And it's only... Yeah, so that, that bit I sort of half believe. She probably did see Harry as um, a great... Um, platform for her causes you, you can see um just for the from the speeches she does she's uh, very passionate about uh, you know women's rights and um and all sorts of uh, global issues so um that part i half believe you know but um yeah she was a she was a uh, sort of influential person before probably not very well known in australia but i think in canada she was very well known through suits uh, her uh, TV series, so, and she did a few cameo roles. Uh, there was one, uh, I think it was Horrible Bosses. She was a FedEx agent, FedEx um, worker, and uh, yeah, nice little cameo there. You're going to get bigger and better with the bundle of joy not far away when the baby arrives. What do you think Harry will be like as a dad? I think he'll be amazing as a dad. It was one of the things I spoke to some of his friends about for the book because I wanted to bring the book right up to current date. And they all said he's book. wanted to be a dad for ages. And having watched Harry and observed him on royal engagements for so many years now, you are struck by this sort of mag magnetism between him. If there is a baby in a crowd on a walkabout, yeah. he's straight there. He adores children. I think he'll be a brilliant father. I think very much like William, he'll be a hands-on dad. You know, he'll get involved with changing nappies. He'll be there for feed times. Yeah. He'll want to do the bath time routine. He's going to love it. Yeah, it'll be fantastic to see, and we will watch every move of it. Katie, thank you so much for your time this morning. Thank you. Yeah, interesting insight from her. She knows the royal news, that is for sure. Yeah. Okay, so um, very interesting little interview there. As I said, she she seemed to mention the book quite a bit, didn't she? Um, so uh, how much is just uh, gossip, and, and maybe she's spreading a lot of the gossip. Maybe maybe she's a source for the uh, 
for all the rumours because she's got a book to sell there. And uh, she keeps on saying that she's put a couple of new chapters into the book. So, yeah. I don't know. I'm getting a bit cynical, aren't I? But um, there's just so much rubbish going on. And I sort of think that uh, uh, there's always got to be a, uh, a reason behind it. And uh, I think I sort of uh, spotted a reason right there. So um, tell me what you think. Uh, Put the comments in the uh, comment section below, and uh, I'll have a good read, and and we'll see um, what you guys think about the whole thing. Okay, so lots more news to come. I'm, I'll do a few more tonight. I've got a bit of a backlog. I've been busy, so uh, I'll do a bit of uh, raw news. So expect to see a few more videos. Okay, see you. Bye.